Last night marked the start to Arizona State softball season, and the Sun Devil showed no mercy as they took down Utah State and San Jose State with a combined score of 19 to 1. Co-head coaches Bob Wagner and Letty Olivares could not have asked for a better way to open their first season at the helm. Well, it's easy to see that ASU hockey team has been struggling in their first year in the NCAA. But how bad is it? The Sun Devils have not scored more than two goals in a Division I matchup since November 14th. That was 16 games ago. Now only two regular season contests remain, and both are against ACHA opponents. Up first is Liberty University, who ASU head coach Greg Powers expects to come ready to compete. All right, well, you saw that tweet from Cassidy. Now we have Cassidy Pickerel and the rest of the Sun Devil Sand Volleyball team on this week's edition of Ring of Fire. Well, you just got a glimpse of Cassidy Pickerel and the rest of the Sun Devil Sand Volleyball team. But luckily for you, we have the outside hitter in studio with us right now. Cassidy, thank you so much for joining us. But let's state the obvious. You're a junior this year, but this past season was your first as a Sun Devil. You transferred from UC Irvine. Why did you decide to come to Arizona State? You should mark on your schedule, March 4th at the Para Club. That's when the Sun Devil Sand Volleyball team and Cassidy will be taking on New Mexico University. Cassidy, we wish you the most objective luck to you and the rest of the season. Thank you. No, so that was the Sun Devils. Let's talk about the opponents. They got Oregon State on Saturday, who last year, they only lost one game. And then USC on Sunday, where they have a brand new coach. What should we expect from these other two teams? Well, Arizona State, they start their season off against Oregon State and USC for the Pac-12 shootout this weekend. Should be a lot of fun. Unfortunately, it will not be streamed, but make sure you go to CronkiteSports.com where you can catch all of Blaine's work and the rest of the coverage for Arizona State. Now let's switch genders, Dom, all right, to over to men's basketball. They've been struggling more than the women, but if you were to choose an MVP, who would it be? I think they should, and I know that they didn't want to end their season the way it did last year, but they had three freshmen starting at the end of the year, and they're going to take that experience into this upcoming season. Now they have Coach Mussey, who's won a national championship as a coach and as a student, and that's something that Coach Watson could not bring to the table, so I do expect a lot of success. So now we'll switch over from my favorite topic to your favorite topic, baseball. All right, so they've had a lot of success in the past, but can they continue the streak of a 30-win season this year? We're gonna stay on the frozen water dump. Michael Cummings in the sixth round of the shootout against Wisconsin Eau Claire, making it look easy, and that would eventually win the shootout, but the game would still remain in a tie. We have to start off with a Karate Kid quote, and of course, we had to end on it. It's been an exciting week for Arizona State sports, and it's only gonna get better with softball, baseball, and lacrosse all starting up. And for my partner, Dominic Catronio, I'm Troy Lynch. Thank you so much for tuning in to Cronkite Sports Live. We'll be here next week, same time, same place, with different anchors. Thank you, and have a good night.